Hey guys, I'm bringing you another do-it-yourself computer repair video today. I have a Lenovo laptop here, and I'm going to show you how to address the following issues under the video title, Computer Won't Turn On Fix. So that's if your computer is completely bricked and no lights, no sign of life. Uh, the other thing you may see is if you do see lights, you see the power light, but the computer is not starting. Uh, the third thing you could see is the computer seems like it's starting. You hear the motherboard clicks, you hear the fan engage, but then it shuts off right away before you get to that initial startup logo screen. Uh, and then the fourth thing is if it starts up and then freezes, again, before that initial logo screen. So all those symptoms are going to be addressed in this video as a computer won't turn on fix. Other things that may look similar but are not is if your computer starts up, reaches that logo screen, but then gets in sort of a boot loop where it gets stuck loading or it restarts over and over. Uh, that's going to be a boot loop fix video. That'll be below in the description. I'll have a link for that video. And then also if your computer does turn on, you hear the motherboard clicking, you hear the fan, it doesn't turn off right away, but your screen stays black um, or very dim. That's a black screen fix. Those are separate problems. Again, video link below in, in the description. And as always, any questions or comments, leave them for me below. Check out the frequently asked questions first. It could save you some time. Uh, but I'm going to get into the first set of tests we can run now on a Lenovo laptop that won't turn on. So the first thing you want to do with your computer is unplug your charger and remove your battery. Now in this computer, I have an internal battery. Hopefully you have an external battery that's easier to remove. Uh, it's usually on the back end here. You pop a switch or two switches and it slides right out. Uh, I'm not gonna go in here for this video. This is just a quick tutorial to show you and explain how to do these tests. Um, if, if, if you need help and you can't manage to get into your internal battery, I will have a link in the description below on an example of how to access an internal battery. Uh, but to save time, I'm not gonna do that for this video. Uh, so again, unplug your charger, remove your battery, and then what you're going to do is hold down your power button for one minute. What this does is it drains any static that has built up in various components in your computer. Uh, many of you, if you've called a warranty helpline before, this is the first step they have you do in most computer repairs, is just to drain that static that could be building up. After you've held that down for a minute, put your battery back in and plug back it in your charger. Try to turn your computer on. If your computer turns on, it means a static buildup was your only issue. Try to limit the sources of static you use your computer around. Don't use it around blankets or pillows or pets. Um, make sure you're using it with a healthy surge protector um, and not just plugging it into the wall. And if this problem persists, you may want to consider swapping out first your battery and then your charger. The, those two could be going bad. If your computer doesn't work at this point, unplug your charger again, remove your battery again, and we're going to repeat that process. Hold the power button down for another minute. After you've held the power button down for a minute, plug in your charger only, leave your battery out, and try starting your computer. If your computer turns on at this point, we've identified your battery as being the cause of the issue, replace your battery. If you need help finding a suitable replacement, uh, leave me a message. Oftentimes they have part numbers on them. Uh, you, you can reference those to look for one. If your computer is not turning on at this point, we're going to repeat the process for the charger. So unplug your charger, leave your battery out, hold your power button down for another minute. After that minute, you're going to leave your charger unplugged this time, put your battery back in, and then try to start your computer. Again, if your computer starts, we've identified the charger as being bad. So replace your charger. If your computer is still not turning on at this point, we're going to move on to the second series of tests that we're going to do. In computer repair, just like car repair, you test the easiest and the cheapest things first. And if those don't turn out to be the problem, you move on to more expensive and more complicated repairs. So the next step you're going to do after this, if your computer is still not turning on, is what's known as a BIOS reset. There'll be a link below in the description for how to perform a BIOS reset on a Lenovo computer. Uh, that involves, again, going inside your computer um, to access that component. So please, if this was helpful, please like and share. 
Uh, if you have any questions, if something happened that you weren't sure of, leave me a message. Check the frequently asked questions first, it could save you some time. But if you do leave me a comment or a question, I try to get back to you a few times a day at least. Uh, subscribe if you enjoy do-it-yourself computer work. Thanks so much for watching, guys.